Hi, today I want to go over how to add an IPA to an Allen Bradley PLC with Ethernet IP. First go to our website, parkermotion.com, go to servo drive slash controllers, and then on the intelligent Parker amplifier, the IPA, go ahead and then under the software downloads, download the add-on instructions. I've gone ahead and saved those to my desktop here. And here's the uh, L5X add-on instructions for the Allen Bradley and then also the program that goes inside the a IPA as well too. Go ahead and launch the ACR view software. This is the default file path name. You can copy and paste it um, into your Explorer. And then uh, copy it, the uh, AOI program into here. And then we'll just modify it. That's the fastest way to get you up and running. Go ahead and select that project. And then you want to connect to the IPA. This is the configuration wizard. You can just step through this. I've gone ahead and set mine up to be in millimeters. I've selected my motor, which the motor part number is on the side of the, of the motor. And then download the motor configuration, which is a, a separate download as compared to the file for the program. You can set up your units to be millimeters, inches, degrees, whatever units you want to be on there. I've got a 10 millimeter per rev ETH ball screw high force electric thrust cylinder. I've uh, gone ahead and given about a quarter rev of uh, tracking error and tuned it up. And then go through to finish and then do a download and you want to download the defines and all the programs as well too. And this will save to flash memory. This will take a minute. Press OK. Now in ACR view, if you look at the common status panel, you notice that the programs aren't running. We didn't cycle power on there, so if you go to the terminal window, you can just type pboot, and that will automatically start running all the power-up programs. So now you'll notice that program 1 is running. As it's running, it'll turn program 0 on and off. And then you're done here. Go ahead and open up your RS Logix software, connect to your Allen Bradley PLC. The first thing that you'll need to do is add a generic module. So right click, do new module. Come down here. It's Ethernet module is the generic Ethernet module. If you want to add this to multiple projects, you can add it to your favorites here and then it'll, it'll appear on this tab as well. And then you want to name the IPA module. So I'm just going to name this IPA1. You could have multiple IPA drives. The input needs to be 101, and then the size is fixed at 100, 32 bits. And then the outs are 102, the size is 100. And then the configuration is 3. And then you need to set the IP address. The default for the IPA is 192.168.100.1. The 1 is based on the dial switches on the front. Go ahead and press OK, OK. And then you'll want to import the add-on instructions. So you right click, import add-on instructions. 
I've gone ahead and unzipped those into a, a file on my desktop. Unfortunately, you can't select multiple AOIs, so you'll have to do this for each one. Okay, now that you've imported the add-on instructions, you're ready to start programming. So come into your main routine. And the first thing that you need to do is go into the add-on instructions and add your access manager. So I'm gonna name this IPA1 in GR which is the name of the function block or the add-on instruction. And then I'm just going to name it X. And for the data in, the data out, those have already been defined, but you need to go ahead and select those in. And then select the outputs. And the error indication means that you need to do a control W to name, create that tag, and the same thing with the function block itself. Once you do that, the ease disappeared, you have no errors, and then you'll want to actually do something, so then add another rung, and the first thing that you'll need to do is enable the drive. So there is a servo on function block. We've already named it um, the axis will still need to name the function block Go ahead and select X I have to declare the function block again so that's a W control W is the hotkey on that and then there's also if we want to disable it there's a separate add-on instruction on for that. And let's say that we wanted to do this based on an input. Same thing with the out. Go online. This will force a download. Download. And now if you toggle this bit, you can do that with the control T. Then you can see you've got a green light now energized on the IPA. And then if you turn that bit off, and then if you want to turn it off, you can disable it with the other add-on instruction. So if we want to enable it, now we can go back and add even more to actually do motion. Okay, so now I've gone offline. If I add another rung, I'm not going to teach ladder logic. That's not the point of this video. But if you add a couple rungs on there, let's just add a couple con contacts for push buttons here. We're going to say extend push button and a retract push button and don't forget to declare those and then 
you can either drag them from over here or from up above. So I'm just going to name this IPA1 extend and then it's going to be my x axis which is already declared. One is absolute position, 50 millimeters. This all depends on your mechanics and what's possible on your system. 50 millimeters per second. I'm going to accelerate at 100 millimeters per second squared. Jerk, I'm going to go ahead and set that to zero and uh, be sure to declare that. And then the retract. I'm going to name that retract and then X and then absolute. I'm going to go back to my zero position and then I'm going to do a fairly aggressive retract. Uh, acceleration, the deceleration, that's going to be a thousand millimeters per second squared. So a uh, little faster than uh, 300 milliseconds to accelerate up to that speed jerk I'm just going to leave to zero and then um, be sure to declare that that gets rid of your errors go online it'll tell you you haven't downloaded so go ahead and do a download and it'll ask you if you want to go into run mode so click yes remote run and then uh, the IPA is already enabled so if you toggle your extend we'll move out turn that bit off and then for the retract so we're moving it's fairly easy how to drop those add-on instructions in there and then you can do all the program inside the PLC software Thanks and have a great day.